September 23rd, 2023. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. A few, the first who begin this morning with a look at today's eye opener. This came right off. Yeah, it's tidy green. <laughs> at least the, only the pants. Yes. That's right. instincts, though. Yeah, yeah, real quick. He recovered quickly. Ever happened to any of us? Not yet. Have I ever tumbled onto a football <laughs> field and lost my pants? No. Know. What can we <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't happen this morning. <laughs> Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Jeff Glore, along with Michelle Miller. Dana Jacobson is off today, so our good friend Nancy Chen is here in advance of her wedding. Congratulations. Thank right. you. Oh, we in could advance. come next week. <laughs> uh, this morning, we are going to take you across the... The eagle's nest. Yeah. It's so colorful and happy, uh, and I love that it celebrates in such a bright way this symbol of resilience. Yes, the seahorse. That's one of my favorite images. Really cool. Images, yeah. But also that the recovery. Yeah, time after time, we see these, these, these similar stories happening over and over again. Mm. People aren't made whole by institutions that should make them whole. Yeah, important to keep on uh, covering these stories a year yes, out, too. Yes, Great job, Manny. And from an artist lifting people's spirits to a musician and author doing... From a dire to... Uh, oh, ma'am, this, uh, this, <laughs> sir, this line is reserved for emergencies only. <laughs> yes! No oh. bleep, lady! <laughs> what do you think, I'm ordering a pizza? Um, I yeah. Love <laughs> you know it verbatim. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, it's just, it's like the truth is stranger than fiction and the truth we still don't know. <laughs> let's Will just, we ever know? Let's just enjoy what happened after <laughs> uh, before we diagnose the whole thing. Anyway. Well, lots more news straight ahead. Hopefully just like that. But first, here's a look at the weather for your weekend. <laughs> he's, a lot. He's so great. My favorite thing about Ken Fella, texture and love. And they love this. And this historical. No, and they said... <laughs> What are you talking yeah, about? Right. My family loves it. I, I'll reread it every couple of years. So good. Ah. Yeah, such remarkable insight. And I love the attention to detail. Yeah. The research he puts into all of this is amazing. Every, every single day. New, new must-reads must on our list, Jeff. Once okay, again, you've you done go. it. <laughs> and if you are heading up... Catlin Moran's frank and hilarious writing has made her a major feminist voice in the UK with bestsellers like How to Be a Woman and How to Build a Girl. In her latest book, she takes a surprising turn with What About Men? We met up with her in London to find out why she's asking that particular question. Dedicated her life to the conversation of feminism. So this book, it will be so interesting to see on Across the Pond how, how people receive it. But she has some really interesting ideas. What did you think, Jeff? Very interesting. Yeah, she it said was. Said some profound things, I thought. Yeah. Nancy? And it's important, I think, to include the men in the conversation. Oh, absolutely. I thought it was... Well, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also, I mean, you said the book, you had a serious conversation, but you mm -hmm. said the book's really funny. Too. It is hilarious. She's hilarious. Um, and that's, I think people hear her through that, as we all know. You, you hear things through... Uh, comedy mm -hmm. through levity oftentimes maybe you'd be closed off to hearing um but 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 the important point that she's saying is that we all need to be a part as you said of the conversation but we need to converse in a way where we listen to one another i, I think the point that one of the points she was trying to make excluding some exactly and I think that's so a big old tent. tent. I think that that was the natural reaction that a lot of people have is like, give us our say. Sure. And that's, that's fine to have that level of empowerment in speaking, not having others speak for you. But she's really saying, look, we can't have the folks who were in support of us, mm -hmm. the men who understand us, they've got to speak up too. And they've got to help their, their children, their boys mm -hmm. see the evolution and the context. Well, and I just think it's fascinating to see how the, the journey of her books have been, even through the titles themselves. Yep. Fascinating. All right, the dish is now. The food is amazing. Okay. And try it. We have the raspberry mess here. Uh, they One know, they know the, the survival part. mode of getting through that. But it, it's not just the food that they specialize in. It's their attention to detail, the furniture, the plates, even the brooms that they have on display. And they have good food. Oh, yeah. It's Fantastic. delicious. Thank right. you. N now here is a look at the weather for your weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody. Nancy, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. We leave you now with more music from Leve. This is Love Sick. For those of you still with us, we have more music coming up here. But first of all, we just want to say congratulations, Nancy. Oh. About to embark on oh. your 
wedding oh, and yeah, honeymoon yeah. and thank you. new thank life. You guys. New You're not leaving CBS. No, I have, no. but I, I am leaving uh, bachelorette dumb and going on to being wife dumb, I guess. Yeah, after 13 <laughs> years <laughs> of yeah. boyfriend wife girl girl yes. it's love it. <laughs> We're making those words now. Here's, here's more this music from Wave <laughs> This the is the promise. promise.